Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Fruit Farm for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Ooh, tongue twister. A thriving fruit farm has built a miniature railway to boost its income. Your job is to develop it into a full-blown amusement park. Your objective to have at least 1,100 guests in your park at the end of October, year two, with a park rating of at least 600. So a short and seemingly easy scenario then. Let's have a look at this railway that they mentioned 4.77 that's a that's a very high excitement for a railway that's practically roller coaster excitement so we'll be keeping that let's have a look then um okay a lot of paths around the place uh, not a huge park but plenty big enough for 1100 guests uh so you can't buy any more you can't build anywhere else what else have we got then? Okay, we're charging for admission. Now, there was a time where I'd have thought, oh, this makes it difficult. But to be honest, I'm actually starting to think that um, charging for admission is easier, or at least easier for myself, because I like to put down a lot of flat rides before I start building the bigger rides. And when you're charging for entry, you only need a handful of flat rides when you can start, and you can start charging a good amount so that 40 pound they might not pay it straight away although with this royal railway in the in the park they might but um if they don't pay it straight away they will as soon as we put down a couple of rides speaking of which we've got some transport rides we won't need any more of them got a good selection of gentle rides we've got a good selection of coasters to start with won't need any more of those we've got a couple of thrill rides got some water rides and we've got some shops then so looking at it i think thrill rides is what we want to be looking at and then as it's such a short scenario we'll probably look at shops then we're not going to need any to research any new roller coasters we've got tons of those these plenty of cheap and cheerful ones here these ones um and that as well and then when we want to go and do something big then obviously we've got the wooden coaster there so we're not going to need any more of them um i'm going to keep everything and that might shock some people because usually i get rid of things but um i'm going to keep everything there's um plenty of paths all the way around um, in well-defined areas so you've got like a little section here you could put a ride and some some here um, this bit here looks a bit worrying but um, yeah I'm sure 1100 guess isn't a lot so I'm going to keep the paths I'll keep all the scenery because that's just going to make it easier to build exciting rides because you're going to get an excitement boost every time you put down a ride because there's so much scenery next to it um, yeah so I'm going to I'm going to crack on with building. The park is open. Um, I'll see you probably October time. It is October year one. And we've just welcomed our 1,000th guest into the park. We are charging £40 for entry. Um, finances aren't too bad. Could we charge more? Let's have a look. 60 60 we could pro we could probably up it a bit a bit but uh we're doing all right money wise so i've just been building rides as and where i haven't been fussy about it i'm not um, obsessing about placement or anything um yeah so i've just i'll just look at a spot and just open the rides up chuck one down move along put another one down we're doing doing all right you know we got a good good go-karts we've got a good wild mouse over here uh we've got a good um virginia reel there got a good uh dinghy slide couldn't remember what they're called then good dinghy slide there as well maze underneath it yeah so we're um doing really well the let's have a look at the train there you go that's that's uh been buffed slightly from all the the rides that we've been building near it and on it and and whatever we got 
vintage cars. Don't think I've played about with these before. Basically the same as the as the sports car. So I don't know why they've got different rides for these. They might as well just have, have them all as the same ride and just have different cars. Um, sports cars, racing cars, pickups, vintage cars. I don't know if you can change. No, you can't change them. Cheshire Cats, it's all the same, but they're all different rides, so it's a bit strange. And then we've got a, a corkscrew there, very, very basic design. Good excitement, high intensity, that's fine though. So, we only need, was it, currently 86 guests, and we're going to complete the scenario. So, there's been no dramas, it hasn't been difficult, I'm just building and, and the guests are are taking care of the rest for me um i haven't been crazy with the handyman so we're not paying out a lot um i'm not really zoning them maybe on the exits of some of the some of the bigger coasters some of the more intense ones i am but uh generally i haven't been zoned zoning anyone unless i'm coming across a big uh a big accident spot Oh, there's one waiting to happen there so i have to zone someone on there but um other than that it's been fine very a very easy scenario so i'm going to crack on with the building and i'll see you next year for park tour and completing the park it is october year two a couple of weeks until the end of the scenario we've got almost 1500 guests in the park park ratings up on maximum so we're going to smash the goal. So what did we do then? We came in, we set the price up to £40. We're charging 60 now. I've, I've upped it in the last year because I wanted to start building some bigger coasters and we, we were running a bit low. Um, but uh, ever since I've upped it, the money is... There you go. So it would have been around July time, August, where I upped the, the money. Uh, we kept everything in the park. So we kept the paths, we kept all the all the scenery, and we kept this railway. Um, oh, it's gone down a little bit. That's strange. Maybe it's maybe the intensity's gone up or something. That's why it's gone down. I'm not sure, but uh, still a good excitement. Um, so then we've just been building flat rides. Got the go karts there. Good excitement on those. We've got a couple of swinging inverted ships there. We've got junior coaster there. Goes around goes through the loops on the corkscrew um, we have got what have we got we've got the vintage cars we've seen the corkscrew before um, I put some shops down in this area here the the parks already got some handymen on to it um, to be honest it probably would be easier uh, just to put some no entry signs on the paths leading to and from this just to stop people going in there but um, but no, I, I, I decided to, to keep it. Putting down loads of shops. We're researching those at the moment. I've got these um, monorail cycles. So I'm not having to go there. I'm not very excited. Maybe it would be better if they were, um, if it was longer. But um, I, I can't think of all the rides in the park. And these guests want to cycle. I can't think of anything more boring. But um, yeah, Virginia Reel here. So that's good excitement on there. Um, benefiting from some interactions with it i'm trying to trying to make the corners go the same direction where possible so you've got a few corners going in the same direction before having the turn around you have to turn around it at some point but um this it helps with the the spinning if they if you've got a few going in the same direction just over here then we've given this a bit of a paint job um so that's uh that's a water ride there good uh good excitement on there it's a big uh wooden course that we'll all have a look at in a moment um got an enterprise just up here just to fill some space out and then over here we've got a 3d cinema give them something to do when it's raining one of the first things i did when i came in was i built loads of information kiosks around the park on um looking at junctions and and things like that so um we've got plenty of those around the place i don't want them getting lost um so and then we've got this this wooden coaster we've got a train just leaving the station so we'll we'll uh, keep an eye on that
got a block brake there just to help with the throughput of the other trains and then it comes back around underground back over around the bend down under the bridge I like the reprofile the bridge slightly and the train track back splash and back to the station and then I wanted to put something else over here it's a very empty spot so I've got this design I had stored up I call it crabulon um, mainly because of the way the the paths were the paths it made it look like crab it doesn't at the moment because I've got the paths in a different way but um, very high excitement for such a small cheap ride um, and watch look at the hat stalls as well they're all loving it they're all they love the ride so much they wanna they wanna buy a crabulon hat and then when they come down here they're buying a crabulon balloon and these ones the only one the only place you can get these is if you've been on the ride itself so when you see the guests with the orange hats and orange balloons you know that they've been on crabulon and it is Halloween got lots of balloons lots of different color balloons so they'll be letting them go and we've done it stoo 312,000 awesome very easy scenario then uh, very quick to play through would be better if this was in the first tier that's where it belongs um, it would be better for newer players to play one like this early on rather than some of the ones that are in in the first couple of tiers but um, on the whole quite enjoyable um, if it was if it dragged on longer I think it would have got a bit annoying but um, two years is plenty for something like this and and we hammered it it's also nice to um, to play in a, in a different style I don't normally keep things and I don't normally just put things down um, anywhere but um, I quite enjoyed playing this one so any questions or feedback drop them in the comments I am Stu if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye